Good morning. Happy June 1st, 2021. Today's video is a casual sit with me in my car and let's chit chat and let's actually make some money today. I haven't done one of these videos in a while because to be quite honest, last week I was really frustrated with these apps and I'm sure you guys already know that other YouTubers are saying this as well, that it has been really slow in a lot of markets on not only Instacart, but a lot of these platforms. So last week, you know, I set my daily goals and I was all ready to make this money. And then you can only do what the app allows you to, allows you to do. So instead of pushing through it and doing something else, I just kind of shut it down and took a step back. But I can't keep doing that I'm starting fresh in June. So I thought I would take you guys with me. I don't know about you guys, but when we're not making money when I'm not making money and I'm not seeing any decent orders come our way on any of the platforms, you know, I just am like, forget it. I'm going to do something else. And that's exactly what I did. However, I do love gigging and I love chatting with you guys. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to, 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 to do both. I'm going to do my best to make some type of money today. And I'll be able to tell you in a minute what the day will look like. I'm going to Instacart and I also just turned on Uber eats so we will see between the two what i can do and my car is so dirty yikes i'm embarrassed so i'm gonna clean my car today too and i'll take you guys with me if this interests you stay with me because we're gonna start shopping right okay, now so let's get to scrolling here you can see on top 18 dollars for two full service orders 13 items not doing that one um what else are we looking at here you guys know the struggle is real right um, all right, so here's one I keep looking at, $29, Aldi, 30 items. I'm going back and forth because I'm not quite sure if I want to do the Aldi one, but it is a close drop-off, 2.4 miles. So then I finally say, what the heck, I better take what I can take, right? As long as it's profitable, and this one was, or this one is. So yeah, um, this one's looking good, so let's get this done. Okay, let's go. I just accepted my first batch of the day, $29 at Aldi wasn't great 30 items but i'm almost at a dollar per item and that's my benchmark and the tip is 18 dollars, i believe i think that's what it said and aldi is literally a mile down here so that's why i took it needed to get something going so i was cherry picking for quite a bit and this one makes sense to me plus i can show you what it's like to shop at aldi inside i'm going to take you guys with all right i'm in aldi and all set with my cart 31 items this is so this shouldn't take too long i got lucky i did not have a quarter with me and this one doesn't have the quarter slot it was just laying there so ah this must be my lucky day here we go okay i am loaded and ready to go that was pretty easy it took me about 30 minutes because we had a gatorade debacle there were so many flavors that they didn't have and you know it took her a while to get back to me anyway that took a little time but other than that she was very communicative and we're all organized i always use the aldi boxes right in the store and i don't use bags because the customers are charged for the bags and in my opinion from my experience i think customers enjoy getting the boxes as well i do have ice cream in here and i have it covered with frozen items i'm going to transfer these into a, a cold bag real quick and then i will be on my way so yep 30 minutes that drop off is done and the customer modified the order which means she added a couple items and the total payout ended up being $32.25 for 33 items that was a $21 tip and that's exactly where I like to be is at least $1 per item this was a little this fell a little short of that but at least the tip was still over $20 which was well over the batch payment and in my market those are the batches that I like to take if I can and if not I, I won't settle and I did notice that a lot of people a lot of shoppers because they are so desperate right now they are settling and settling meaning they're making well under minimum wage and I just don't understand that walk me through that you guys if you're seeing batches out there for triple batches and you're taking these with 70 items and they're paying under $30 if you do the math that is just not that is that is not okay so i hope you guys are really analyzing your batches and i know during these slow times it's tough because we're going to take what we can take but never ever should you devalue your own self-worth and work under minimum wage you got to think of the wear and tear on this vehicle not to mention the the time that it takes us so anyway that is it i'm gonna get back online and see what i can find the, the orders are definitely a little more frequent today than that than I have seen them so there's hope
Good morning. It is the next day, and to recap yesterday's earnings, I did end up earning $142.20. I did a total of four batches, two of which were double batches, and my average was $33 an hour for 4.24 hours. Now, that was, of course, active hours, not the hours I spent sitting in my car, but not terrible. Um, I did have a debacle, the very last batch that I did, which was a double. Of course, it's always the last batch of the day that gives you the most trouble. I thought I'm going to be in and out, no problem, and get home So I, because I had an appointment. I had somebody meeting me here, and of course, I was way late. But I get to the store, and the Wi-Fi went down on my phone halfway into the shop. So I'm like, oh, no, I started the shop. What am I going to do? I knew this store is, is a trouble Wi-Fi location, but I did it anyway, and I should have known better. But you live and you learn, right? So I had to leave the store twice to reconnect my phone to Wi-Fi to drive back to the store to finish the shop. And it, apparently this happens all the time with Instacart shoppers there and they said, oh, just leave your card over there, we'll watch it. Okay, that was a complete bleep show. I contacted the customers to let them know it's taking me a little longer because the Wi-Fi keeps going out and it won't, the app won't let me do anything to progress. And they were understanding, thank goodness. Actually, the first customer didn't respond at all, but so that made me nervous. I got through the checkout hit navigation and then I just got the spinning dial um, that stated unable to, to connect to the network. So I thought it was my phone, but it wasn't. I drove a few blocks away. It still wasn't working. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? I had to drive down to the Verizon, which was another four miles the opposite direction to figure this out. What I wasn't going to do is restart my phone because I was worried that I would have lost that whole batch and then I have the groceries in the car and would Instacart think I'm stealing the groceries? So I get to the Verizon and I'm like, help, I have to, to, I have to, I have to deliver these groceries that are in my car and the app's down. So the guy at Verizon was nice, but he's like, oh, we're gonna have to do a complete network set, reset, and if you do that, you'll probably lose all of that batch information. I'm like, oh no, no, that's, that's definitely not gonna work. So five minutes, six minutes later, we were able to get it working just by connecting to the Verizon Wi-Fi, but it took a long time. So I don't know what the heck happened, but my phone is fine. It's new. They said it wasn't my phone. I don't know. So then I contacted the customers and let them know I'm on my way. I got there, no problem. But the first customer um, was customer A tipped $2. Ugh. You know what? That's why doing double batches and triple batches is the absolute worst because we can't see those tips and I would never take a batch for a $2 tip under no circumstances, at least for me, because I'm not going to devalue myself that way. It's almost like just such a slap in the face. I'm not shopping for you for $2. I'm not doing it. <sighs> anyway, the second customer though, knew that I was having trouble. I was communicating with him the whole way. He ended up raising my tip from $23 up to $32, which was unbelievable and so generous. And it is the customers, say what you will, but the customers that tip generously in, in the app are the customers who understand the value of service and good service. And these are the customers that will raise your tip, not the customers that are tipping 50 cents or zero. No, thank you. Don't even get me started about triple batches, but that's not what this is about. I was able to make a decent wage yesterday. So I am grateful for that. Today is a new day. I'm going to try to at least do a couple batches. I'm going to take you guys with me, but I said I was gonna clean my car yesterday and I didn't, and I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, before I even get on the app, my car needs cleaned so bad. It's so grimy and gross. Um, I bought this a long time ago, and this is called the Bissell Steam Shot. I use it inside my house. No, this is not an infomercial, I promise, but if you guys don't have one of these, this thing is life-changing, and I kid you not, I am not sponsored, but I love this. I saw another YouTuber use this who does a lot of house cleaning videos, easy and cheap, and this thing gets grime off of everything and it disinfects everything naturally, which is why I like it. You guys, I've cleaned my stove, my oven, um, my windows because it has, um, oh, it has a lot of a lot of attachments. Like you can use this to do your windows. So yeah, I recommend it. I'm gonna link it below, but let's start steaming and get my car clean so that I can start making some money. But I can't like function if my car is grimy and it really is. So 
I want to show you how this works. Once you start using this steam shot, you will not want to put it down. I promise you it is really addicting. I start cleaning everything and I don't stop, but I don't have a lot of time because I want to get carding, but I wanted to show you really quick how it works. All you do is you push this lever down. You do have to hold it down the whole time and then just start pointing and steaming and watch. It literally, you can see like all of, all of the dirt coming off right away. And then you just wipe it when you're done and it's so clean. Oh my gosh. So fun, you guys, it's amazing. Okay, just because I'm having too much fun, thank you for entertaining me, but I'm gonna do the top of this because it was so icky and gross. So let me just steam that and show you. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe and that should take all of that up, which it does. So beautiful, you guys, come on. That's amazing. And that was only with one hit. So not to plug this again, but I would be lost without my steam shot from Amazon. You guys, if I told you to get anything, get this one. It really does power clean everything and even the tire. So I'm gonna keep going with this. I'll check, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. Okay, so here I am doing my whole dashboard. And again, this is called the Bissell Steam Shot Hard Surface Steam Cleaner. It is on Amazon. I am linking it below. It has over 9,700 five-star ratings. It's only $34.99. And when I tell you the amount of things you can clean with this, you will be amazed. It has all of these attachments and some of the attachments have little scrubbers on them. And it's so easy to use. I will never not be without this. I have cleaned so much in my house and my house has never looked cleaner because of this thing. I'm also a painter, so I get a lot of paint on the floor and this lifts up paint. You guys would not even believe how well it works. It's getting into all of these nooks and crannies and it's so addicting. So I'll stop now, but again, it's linked below if you guys wanna go check it out. I really do value this product. Okay, the Instacart orders so far are just ridiculous. $2 tips. 89 cent tips like seriously not doing that but i did just grab an uber eats order uh i think six dollar and something payout i'll put everything here and not going too far away so yay uber eats to the rescue i just dropped off that uber eats order and it was so cute because it looked like a high school girl that came to the door and she was like hurry hurry can you please drive away fast i don't want my dad to know i just ordered uber eats he thinks i'm lazy little tmi but i actually said i got you girl i'm gonna run back to the car no worries really funny so that was easy and now I just accepted another batch on Instacart none of the orders are great today but at least this tip is okay and it's only eight items so come on with me because I actually like the store that I'm going to it's one of these specialty grocery stores so yeah let's go here's a quick peek at what this grocery store looks like it's called Fresh Acres it's a specialty grocery store it's definitely more expensive than traditional grocery stores, but as you can see, it has this open airy type of feel. Um, they have all of the fresh produce and veggies outside. They're always playing fun music and it's just a fun experience. I just dropped off that order and the customer ordered a watermelon and in the notes section, she asked to, for me to choose a watermelon that was dark in color. And you guys, we are in watermelon season and now is the time to study our watermelons. I did not know that there were so many different variations of watermelons and you definitely don't want choosing the wrong watermelon to risk your ratings. It is not worth it. So I found this watermelon chart, how to choose the best watermelon in one of the Instacart local Facebook groups. And I wanted to pass this along to you because it really is helpful and very, interesting because again my customer chose a dark watermelon and that means it's the ripest and ready to go but those spots that you see on the on, on the watermelons they're called field spots so when the spot is orange or yellow that means it is very sweet and has a lot of flavor and if that watermelon has a white field spot that means there's no flavor in it whatsoever so take this as an opportunity to learn your watermelons and study them definitely screenshot this as well so that you can be aware and there's also variants in the webbing like the wider the webbing the less sweet it is or maybe i'm getting that wrong but definitely read this and screenshot it interesting to know and always always 
let your customer know what this watermelon looks like send them a picture of it i had to do this for this customer they all looked the same to me but i did choose the darkest one i could find let her know in a photograph this is the darkest one how does this look and she said that is perfect also it's another opportunity to communicate with your customer that shows your customer that you are paying attention and again we have to do everything we can to protect our ratings especially with the limitation in the batches we are seeing you definitely want to be at that five star if you dip down because of a watermelon you're never going to want to eat, to eat watermelon again i promise you but um so i just wanted to share that with you because i thought this was an actual helpful tip i who knew there's an elongated watermelon like what now when i buy my own watermelons i'm going to make sure i look th for that field spot and make sure it's orange or yellow and definitely not white but yes here it is screenshot it so that you can have this and definitely definitely communicate with your customers send them a picture of the watermelon before you choose one for them because i didn't know that there were so many different types i hope that helps good morning it is now thursday the next day yesterday was not a great day in the gig economy world at least in my market and you guys know how it goes especially now it is up and down i ended up only taking one batch on Instacart because I was really cherry picking and being so cautious with the batches I was a was willing to take and you know a lot of the batches as you guys already know are triple batches or the miles are far or the customer tip is if it was a single batch under a dollar fifty like I'm not doing that and I hope you guys aren't too but that's okay it is the nature of the game it literally is a roller coaster it's up and down the same with uber eats as well i did do a couple orders on uber eats which thank goodness i had uber eats as an option and this brings me to my next point in case you guys did not see this video gig life just put out a video a couple days ago and i know you guys know who he is because he is really awesome he brings positivity and really good content which i really appreciate i'm going to link the video he just posted a couple days ago in the description box below so definitely go watch it but he titled it the gig economy is crashing now what and basically he was saying we as gig workers should not be pigeonholing ourselves into into the gig economy and he is so right it's almost like a mindset and i know right now it is slow for so many people out there working in the gig economy he was encouraging those of us who are in the gig economy to not specifically rely on one app which i do believe most of us are understanding and doing right now we are even though we fall in love with one app we cannot be married to that app and we have to have other apps going as well in addition to that don't even think further out of the app world and try other revenue streams and they're out there you guys there are so many opportunities online right now and they're you know there are too many to count really and i just encourage all of you just like he did he ch he's challenging everyone to think out of the gig economy box and expand your options into other streams of revenue because a lot of the gig tubers out there that you are watching they they likely have other revenue streams as well as working just solely in the gig economy so you definitely want to protect yourself and yes it is a little bit slow right now and it's because we are you know people are doing their own shopping and they're doing their own going to get their own food and it's going to happen it will come back i'm confident that it will but again don't pigeonhole yourself so tightly don't niche don't niche down so much that you are losing sight of other opportunities that may come your way yesterday was a perfect example of that i was like oh my gosh and i actually had a good day yesterday because even though it was slow i decided you know what i'm gonna take the orders on Uber Eats that I want to do and I'm going to shop in the market that I want to shop in and I I changed my mindset and I had a good time doing it instead of being so angry and frustrated that one app was slower than the next I just sort of looked at everything with a little bit more positivity and said you know what there are other opportunities other than gigging as well even though we love gigging Right now, it's just a little slow for all of us. Let's hope it turns around, but I definitely wanted to put that out there. Thank you, Gig Life, for putting that video out and for encouraging your viewers and all of us to think differently and maybe a little more creatively and just to know that this is probably just a slow season and it will turn around. It always does. So Gig Life, thank you again. I'm going to link that video in the, in the description box below. It was a great pep talk. I waited in the Costco parking lot for the 10 a.m. drop and actually it was a little late it was 10 05 
a.m. and I passed up on a lot of good batches I probably should have taken but I was holding out for this one it's only 20 items so this went pretty quick it took me about 10 minutes and it's a two mile drop off so this is a good start I am back and I am done well at least for today I ended up making $74.25 on Instacart and this is because I only accepted two batches out of the whole day because those are the only two batches that made sense to me when I say make sense I just wanted to be profitable so I was picky and I waited but these were okay because they ended up paying at least a decent amount the customers tipped and i averaged 47 dollars an hour on instacart of course that's not drive time or sitting in the car time and then i also turned on uber eats and i grabbed one order on uber eats it was a double from chipotle that paid 19 dollars, and the miles were really close so that was really easy it's amazing how many batches that i saw today that did not have customer tips so I don't know what's happening with the tips they're dwindling I don't know maybe customers know shoppers are desperate and they're zero tipping in the app what's crazier to me is that these batches quickly disappeared out of the queue whether they were put in a double or not I'm not sure but shoppers are definitely taking these and for me I would rather sit all day and wait than to again undervalue my time and my efforts it's just it's not okay in my opinion but everyone has to do what works for them. I know it's a slow season, I know it's frustrating, but it does help to start the day out with a positive attitude and just maybe lower those goals a little bit just so that you can at least hit them. And in the meantime, definitely start looking for other opportunities outside of the gig economy because I know that there are plenty. I would love to do another video about what opportunities are out there. That'll be for another day. But in the meantime, I hope everyone had a great week so far it's not over we have a weekend ahead of us and what's coming up now fourth of july maybe that will be a busy weekend i'm not sure but we just have to hang on tight ride the wave together because we're all in this together just know that you're not alone i love all of you i respect all of you and how and how hard you are working so that is it for this shop long chit chat video please let me know in the comments below how are you are doing in your area how you are getting through this little slow season and uh, what your thoughts are on all of it. I will talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.